When you're designing a barbershop logo, it just feels like it needs to be vintage. That's the design language that matches that old kind of timelessness, that vintage vibe of the barbershop. And one of those vintage design styles that we're gonna use in this video is Sanborn Maps. Now, we've already done some videos on this in the past, which I will link up here in the cards for you to check out how to do Sanborn style designs in Kittle. But we're gonna make a vintage Sanborn barbershop logo right now and if you don't have Kittle go ahead and sign up using the link down in the description and then you can follow along with me. So in Kittle we already have these Sanborn style elements so under ornaments you see here if I click show all you can see a ton of different frames and lines and ornaments and different shapes that are already in the Sanborn style and this is going to help you in your compositions so much because the ornaments here are already ready for you to use. Now, this is the text that we're gonna use in our Sanborn barbershop. So Mateo, this is a barbershop. They do shaves and haircuts, things like that. So that's the text we want in the logo. And so what we need to do to get started is decide what kind of frame we're gonna use. And the frame will really influence the text. For example, this one uses a rise effect, a curved effect for that text. So it might be silly to start with all of your text effects and things first and then find out it won't fit your frame. So let's decide the frame we want to use. I want to go with a horizontal style. So I really like this this one with the arched top because it gives us a nice space there to put some text in the curve. Now I'm going to find some other elements, a bottom piece for example that will help us frame barbershop in the middle. So we'll put barbershop really nice in the middle with a, some vintage text. So what I think would be nice is also using a banner, one of these maybe more straight banners to fit his name in as like a script font, so like a signature. So I'm going to choose this one and I'm being careful to choose a banner as element that is already similar in nature to the Sanborn style. I'm going to make this little frame on the bottom also gives us part for curved text. So I'm going to curve some text underneath that. And then if I add this element right here, and then of course make it smaller and turn it around, what this is going to do is kind of in cap the curved text that's going to be in the bottom. So now you can see it's a nice place for curved text down there. And then I filled in that space with that ornament so it's not left hanging there. So let's change our colors, make sure things are how we want them and then for barbershop we definitely want to use a vintagey serif font for this now we've got some really nice ones and some that were even made for the Sanborn style um, Black River is a great vintage font for example if I type in here barbershop that one definitely feels at home uh, this one maybe is a little bit too sharp the one that we made for this headstock but let's go with royal signage I think this one has a lot of character uh, and we can use different uh, capitals to do this we can also use different glyphs to give this some extra interest here so for example let's go to the R I'll type in R up here in the glyphs panel which opens if you click it and then we can find one of these R's with a little flourish for example this one right here that just gives the logo a little bit more character it gives this name the barbershop name a little bit more character so let's do the same thing for the s open the glyphs type in s let's do this one with the nice little flourishes here so we'll get rid of this s for you just hit backspace and boom now we have just a little bit more charm on this logo on this barbershop text in the middle of our sanborn style and i think that looks nice something that you would uh, commonly see probably on the outside of an old barbershop or maybe even an old tattoo parlor Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. If there's someone you know that would love this style of design, make sure you share the link with them. That would be awesome. Then let me know in the comments, are you a fan of the Sanborn style vintage look? Or would you like a more traditional lettering style look? What is your specific vintage fancy? I would love to know. So comment down below. And now let's get back to the tutorial. Let's start getting uh, our text effects together. So with block shadow, what we can do is decide our color. So for the actual color of the inside of the text, so the main color of the text, I wanna go with this kind of like 
offish orange, this lighter orange, for example, because uh, I'm thinking of some colors that'll contrast well and also pop. And so I want to go with some dark shadow, some black shadow for the bottom for the drop shadow. Uh, now I want to make that offset just a little bit smaller. It doesn't need to be quite that intense here. So we're just playing with getting that how we want it. And then I want to add some outer width that matches the Sanborn thinness, right? So we want to match the overall style from everything from the stroke or the outline of the type to uh, the thickness of the elements. Now you can see in this banner, it's just a little bit thicker than the rest of these ornaments. So all we have to do is go up here, click the ornament and then click outer or border weight and that will give us extra weight to the ornament such a cool feature in Kittle that you can make everything match really nicely so let's go back to our text effects panel and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these oblique kind of etched lines and just a little nod to the way that the barbershop logo that pipe with the white and the blue and the red spinning kind of little symbol outside of the barbershop logo I want to do something that's a, a little nod to that so we can play with the distance of our lines to get something that will work with this uh, with this blue etched lines here so what I can do is a neat little trick to add border weight to the inside of the text and give it this effect look like it's kind of floating in the middle look like it's an inset effect so let's add some illustrations here I think these scissors match the vintage style and it's given us a little place here in the middle to put a little badge for a monogram now we do have a badge category here with circles in it but we also have a couple of other places with more ornate circles that maybe aren't so intense. So let's find one of these ornate circles that isn't doesn't necessarily have a ton of stuff on it. For this one, for example, looks like a little seal. So I think that works really nicely. Let's change our colors, add text with the T button, and then what we can do is look for our monogram font that's already in Kittle. So you can just type in monogram or M-O-N-O, -O, and then boom, I can click this one. All you have to do is click in, and we'll just delete this and put MR for the initials here, for, for the initials of our barber shop. And so that looks like it's going to fit right here in the middle of this really nicely. And then I'm just going to play with the colors a little bit to get an effect for the monogram. And that looks like it's going to come together nicely and sit right there underneath the scissors. So let's go ahead and fill in some text right here. So again, remember what we were going to do is use the name as a script so for Matteo Rossi here uh, let's make this one a little bit smaller and then let's go over here and find one that looks like a handwritten uh, font so like more of a signature style and I think that looks pretty nice now with shaves and haircuts we're gonna pick a another kind of vintagey blocky style so goblin I like this one because it's a little bit thicker um, it, it has a lot of character and so what we can do is hit circle transformation and use the bottom point to expand it so that it fits the curve of that that bottom Sanborn element. So you see there it's fitting the curve of that just by using the transformation effect. Now we need to make sure that the size fits correctly because I want the ends of the text to end up with the ends of the uh, frame here you see right here on the sides I want to make sure the text lines up with that and then we can just readjust our bottom ornament here to close cap it to end cap it here and make sure that it is kind of housing that text that text isn't floating there so let's do the same thing we're just duplicating that text and then we're gonna put Chicago and now what I can do is hit edit transform and since it's in the circle transformation all I have to do is grab the point and pull it over to the side so I don't have to actually use the little the rotate tool I can just use the edit transform tool and move it to the other side boom Chicago and Illinois on either side and then what I can do is just go in here and play with a little bit of color so I think the orange against the gray pops off nicely like this and it gives you an idea of how it might look on the outside of a window now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.